Assalamualaikum to my lecturer, Sir Fadli. Uh, my name is Ahmad Fadlidin Ahmad Kamal from your class ADE473, Travel and Stryptography. Okay, so today I will be presenting about my uh, travel. Okay, so we will talk about the proposal. Uh, I've listed uh, four places in my proposal, which are Almena Central Park, Bukit Merbayu, uh, KL Garden, and Georgetown Penang. And what made me choose Penang is because we had our family trip there at that time. Uh, okay, so a bit of background about Georgetown Penang. It was established by Francis Light of the British East India Company in 1786. Uh, and Penang is listed as the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Southeast Asia. There is plenty of old and rustic building that combine the influence of Eastern Oriental and Western British colonial design. And okay, the last one is because Penang is a melting pot of culture where you can look at their different cultures, architectures, and you can also try their food. What makes Penang unique is because you can rent a bicycle by a rental services where you can explore the look of scope of the street of Penang. Okay, so next I will be talking about the gear I use when shooting in Penang. Uh, the first one is my handy Google Pixel 2. It's my personal smartphone. It has a 12 megapixel camera and the software is really good at taking photos. It's fast, it's sharp, it's clear and you don't have to edit it after it. Uh, it's considered as a point and shoot camera. Okay, the next one is my personal camera. This is a Sony A6000, which is a mirrorless APS-C camera. It has a 24-megapixel sensor, and it has an interchangeable lens. Uh, the current lens on it is a uh, kit lens by Sony. It has an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6, with a focal length of 16 to 50 mm and it has a built-in optical image stabilization. Uh, on a 35mm format, the focal length is equivalent to 24 to 70mm. Okay, the next lens I have is a prime lens. It is a vintage lens by Asahi. It's called the Super Takuma. The focal length is 35mm. It has an aperture of f1.8. Uh, what makes this a prime lens is it has a fixed focal length so you couldn't zoom in and what makes this lens unique is uh, they use thorium when making the lens so it has a uh, radioactive element in it that makes the lens a bit yellowish uh, this lens is actually and we come with an M42 adapter so you need to purchase uh, an adapter like this, which is an M32 to NEX adapter to adapt to a Sony camera. Oh, and this lens uh, is a fully manual lens. So you need to adjust the aperture and focus manually. Okay, so next lens is this, a Pentacon Auto. Uh, the Mount is similar to the Super Tacoma, which is an M42, so you need to use the adapter. It has a 29mm focal length with an f2.8 aperture. It's good for shooting standard wide view. Uh, what is different from this lens is that it has a coating in the surface, so it will reduce the flare. So these two lens uh, at a 35mm format. The 55 is equivalent to 85mm lens, so it's very uh, compressed shot with a nice bokeh. And this one is equivalent to 45mm, uh, which make it suitable for everything because it's similar to our normal field of view of our eye. And okay, so the next one I will be showing you some of the photo from the photo shoot in Penang. Uh, which are mostly taken on my camera. Okay, so let's check it out.
Okay, so the last one is I'll be talking about my articles. So I have created an article regarding my trip to Penang. It shows the uh, culture and the changes that are currently happening in Penang. So I will put a snapshot of the article uh, next. Okay, so that's all from me. And I would like to thank you to my lecturer, Sir Fadli, for teaching and guiding us this whole semester and also answering some of our repetitive and silly questions. Okay, so that's all from me. Bye.